No, I think every song is going to have similar chord sequence. Yeah. Slightly similar lyrics. Accusing a musical artist of stealing songs is actually way more common than you think. And with that being said, we are counting down 10 more artists that were accused of stealing songs right here on Listed. All right, I know we've already talked about this topic before, but seriously, it happened so much that we just had to do a follow-up video to our original video. So kicking off our list at number one is the one and only Ariana Grande. Remember her song, One Last Time? Well, a songwriter by the name of Alex Greggs accused Ari and David Guetta, who produced the song, of duplicating the chorus of the song that he wrote and holds a copyright to back in 2012 for another artist named Sky Stevens. In fact, here's Alex's song. Baby, if it takes all night, I'm taking you home. Alex filed a lawsuit against Ari and David in August of 2016, and he is suing for a cut of the profits from the songstress's hit track. Now next on our list is another powerhouse vocalist who got caught in the same messy musical situation, Demi Lovato and the song Stars off of her Confident album. While the song was never released as a single, the band Sleigh Bells still managed to pick up on it shortly after it was released in November and called out Demi on Star's similarity to their songs. They tweeted at the songstress and said, Demi Lovato flattered you guys sampled Infinity Guitars and Riot Rhythm for Stars, but we were not contacted. Gotta clear those. All right, so we did play Demi's song earlier. Now check out the track that Sleigh Bells claims Demi copied from them. A little less than a year after their digital confrontation, the band decided to file a lawsuit against Demi and the producers who worked on that song. So enough about Demi's troubles, let's take a little walk down punk rock lane and talk about one of the greatest bands of all time, Green Day. Yes, I know, it's crazy to see them on this list, but many have accused the band of stealing some of their greatest hits, you guys, which would be a terrible crime. Their most notable one being American Idiot. The band was reportedly accused of stealing the beginning riff because it sounds eerily similar to the beginnings of Dillinger 4's Double Whiskey Coke No Ice song. In fact, take a listen. Crazy, right? Okay, aside from that mess, Oasis' Noel Gallagher also accused the band of ripping off his song Wonderwall. because their song Boulevard of Broken Dreams sounds a lot like it. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. All right, while Green Day wasn't necessarily hit with a lawsuit for those two similar sounding songs, the same could not be said for Bruno Mars, my favorite. Late October of 2016, the singer along with producer Mark Ronson were both hit with a lawsuit filed by members of a music group called Collage. The band claims that Bruno's song, Uptown Funk, is a copy of their song, Young Girls, as heard here. According to their lawsuit, the group claims that Uptown Funk copied their song's rhythm, harmony, melody, and structure. Like, what else is left? Even though there's only one member of that group that's even still alive, that guy is asking for a cut of the profits to Uptown Funk and for the world to stop playing the song, which is not gonna happen. I love that song. Next on our list is Sam Smith. Now, as talented as the Grammy winner is, 
Sam found himself in a bit of a pickle when the publishers for Tom Petty's 1989 hit, I Won't Back Down, contacted the publishers for Stay With Me about the similarities in both of the song's choruses. Everyone knows Sam's hit jam, but as a little bit of a refresher, here's the chorus to Stay With Me. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Now compare that to Tom Petty's I Won't Back Down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of Similar, right? After the similarities were pointed out and the choruses were compared, Sam agreed to give Tom and Jeff Lynne, the other writer of I Won't Back Down, writing credits on his award-winning song. And once all of that was settled, Tom released a statement on the matter and said, quote, about the Sam Smith thing, let me say, I have never had any hard feelings towards Sam. All my years of songwriting have shown me these things can happen. Most times you catch it before it gets out the studio door, but in this case, it got by. Sam's people were very understanding of our predicament and we easily came to an agreement. Isn't that maturity refreshing? If only all lawsuits could end amicably like that. Mm, now this next one didn't necessarily involve a lawsuit. It more so created a beef between the two singers. Remember when Lady Gaga released her song Born This Way? And everybody and their mama called the track important because of the song's message. Well, as great as that track was, it totally rubbed Madonna the wrong way. And you do not want to rub Madonna the wrong way. So Madonna felt as if Gaga had ripped off one of her most famous singles of all time. This one. It's uncanny. Madonna even spoke about their feud candidly in an interview with Rolling Stone in 2015, and she said, quote, the only time I ever criticized Lady Gaga was when I felt like she blatantly ripped off one of my songs. It's got nothing to do with she's taking my crown or she's in some space of mine. She has her thing. I do think she's a very talented singer and songwriter. It was just that one issue. Well, at least Madge told the mag that she didn't care about the feud any longer. That way we can get over it too. And Katy Perry is another artist to join the musicians who've been accused of stealing songs club. Not a great club you want to be in. Katy's song Roar is said to be almost an exact replica of Sarah Borelli's Brave. Okay, so here is Katy's track. Here's Sarah's. You can be amazing, you can turn a phrase into a weapon or a drug. You can be the outcast to be the backlash of somebody's lack of love. While the similarities are blatantly obvious, Sarah was not too mad about the copy. In fact, she said in an interview with CBS in 2014 that, quote, I mean, I can't say that I think they don't sound similar, but at the end of the day, it was really good for my song. So thank you, Katy Perry, for that. Well, there is no bad blood between Katy and Sarah, but there might be a bit of a feud of brewing between Little Mix and GRL. Late 2016, Little Mix released their highly anticipated track, Shout Out To My Ex, and they had a great response to their song. I mean, how could you not love this? Shout out to my ex, you're really quite the man. You made my heart break and that made me who I am. Okay, now remember that melody you just heard because now it becomes a little bit messy. Not long after the girl group released their single, Many fans called them out for supposedly borrowing the melody of their new track from GRL's 2014 hit, Ugly Heart. But fans were not the only ones who noticed the resemblance because GRL also noticed and wrote the hashtag shout out to Ugly Heart when the song came out. Shade. And remember that hit song with the Chainsmokers and Halsey, as in this one? Pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your roommate that can bowl that we ain't ever getting older. Yeah, 
so we all know Closer was a huge hit for the DJ duo, but no huge hit is without a little bit of a backlash. In fact, after listening to the track, quite a few people believe that Closer sounded a whole lot like Betty Wap's song 679. The melodic resemblance is uncanny. Just listen. Stay like Monty, can you be my baby daddy? I'm like, yeah, I got robins on my jeans. You see the wings on every pair. Well, despite that observation, there has been no legal action, and neither Fetty Wap nor the chain smokers have said anything publicly about the fan accusation. So who were you surprised to see on this list? It's such a long list every month, new accusations. But leave your thoughts in the comment section below or hit me up on my socials, you guys, and then click right over here to check out these seven artists who were accused of stealing songs. And don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. I'm your girl, Miriam Issa, on Twitter at Miriam Issa, on Instagram at Miriam underscore Issa, and I'll see you guys next time.